Good morning, Cutter. It's time to begin your work day. Alright, let's get going. Hello, oh, my companeros. How is everybody today? Oh, that's behind here. Don't get that off. Ooh. Right. Welcome back to Heart Space Shipbreaker. My name is Vokata, and uh, I got some plans for today. Hey, there, Kevin. Good to see you again. Now here. Sat down on my chair as it was time to go. Well, tough my trash can. I lied. Ran into some problems today. Alright. Nearly flat tire. Is there anything that we back on the schedule? Alright. Don't even have my sandwich sitting next to me today. Didn't have time to prepare it. Like, started. Wrong thing. That's the right thing. Okay, that's good. Everything looks good. A uh, couple things I want to do today. Uh, I want to do another uh, salvage runner uh, for a couple reasons. You know, last week we did a. Just kind of realized we hadn't done a salvage runner in a while. And I had theorized that maybe some more missing posters were in the salvage runner because they. I felt strongly it was in a gecko that we'd found that Union poster originally. And uh, I realized we hadn't been doing salvage runners. But additionally, uh, that salvage runner went really well. And I, it's kind of, I'm kind of hard to put my finger on it. Uh, I felt like we. I feel like it came apart a little differently. Like we had less trouble than we usually do with the uh, the loading base, <clears throat> and I think that was due to us going further back on the ship instead of just going front to back. We kind of went front, skipped, and took away more of the side panels that I think that we normally do. And I think it really opened up the ship more and made it easier to get around. The, the, the part of the problems with the with tearing apart the salvage runner is that it's so claustrophobic <clears throat> in the top section getting around where the uh, salvage bays are. Uh, which isn't a problem, but it's the aspect of that ship. And uh, I felt like it came apart a lot easier on our previous run, but I kind of wanted to replicate that and hopefully maybe find more missing posters. So that is on the agenda for today. Also, uh, I want a heavy cargo javelin, but I specifically want one that is the new style. So I think what we will end up doing is uh, we'll end up going into <clears throat> into a javelin like this one. We're not going to do it right now because I don't want to warm up on a, on a javelin. But we'll go into it and immediately scan it with our visor and if we see that the interior is the the cylindrical interior we'll just abort it otherwise we'll work it <clears throat> because i want to get some more experience with the the new style and i want to explore some of those strategies that we had theorized i didn't get a chance to do last time because that one was a, a an old style so i think it was going to warm up with a gecko or a, a, a mackerel Look like our options are real good right now. Uh, I think we're kind of falling into the pattern of doing one of each ship type. What if I wanted to? Actually, I think I'm gonna warm up on a nomad because we haven't really. No, no, that's that's the hauling one. The scout would be the small one.
I think we're gonna do. Yeah, I think we're, I think I want to do the nomad anyhow. I, we did one of those last time, and I enjoyed it. I think I want to. I want to refine our strategy on that trip. Macros is kind of our interchangeable. You know, we can, we can uh, pretty much pick one of them at random. Yeah, and and uh, we can certainly do a, a scout. I mean, like I said, we we're, we've kind of fallen into doing one of each type, but a scout is practically a macro. So we could do we could do both a scout and this one instead of doing the macro. I don't have a specific macro I feel like I need to do right now. So I'm sorry, feeling a little a little squirrely. Um, and we can always use more time on on the analysis or uh, analysis. Uh, yeah, analysis. Secured. Account credit applied. A little squirrely. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit transferred. I wanted to reboot my machine process. before starting the stream, but like, so I ran into. Issue run a little behind. I went to go get my drink and, and my food and everything. And got in my car ready to go and the car gave me a low tire warning and it was really low. Like practically flat. A little concerning. Airlock depressurized. I don't think anything spawns on bottom of Fortunately, I have a compressor. Carrying tires. It's a paint job? That's, that's, that does a good job of making it look like it's sticking out, but it's really just kind of flat artwork. But it takes a while to air up a tire. <laughs> so I just let it sink uh, 10 pounds into the tire and just, just drove it. <laughs> like, I don't have time for this. Oh, after the stream or tomorrow, I'll get out there and properly air my tire. Hopefully, I don't have a slow leak, but it was. Really low. A little concerning. Problem to investigate another time. Welcome, T Rex. Welcome to the stream. I was just talking about how long today my my today is going. I was slowly my my tires. Valuable object accepted for processing. That uh, uh, so it would have come off already. Go. But otherwise, I cannot. Go. Deposited. Applying credit to account. For this, I'll probably be doing some more satisfactory, but I don't think my episode's gonna be ready in time for tomorrow. Object accepted for processing. Credit deposited. Much to do still. Last week, I don't know if you guys saw my uh, you guys saw my sas last satisfactory episode last Sunday. But uh, you know we streamed last Saturday, and I wasn't the satisfact you know the satisfactory cut on Sunday. That episode wasn't ready yet, but I didn't have very much didn't have too much left to do in it. it was, 
I knew I could just wrap it up after after our stream. And uh, I spent the thing that I needed to build in it took longer than expected. Just I have par for the course for me because I was. You know how I am about details. And uh, I got the build done, and then after it was done, I realized that the build was not going to accomplish what I needed. And so I had to, I, I basically had to go back to the drawing board to do it all over again. And I was up until six or seven o'clock in the morning. <laughs> get that, we're going to get that build done. Credit applied. Hey there, Mark. Um, well, there was two posters we were looking for. We f actually found one last stream. But in our finding that poster last stream, we realized there was a third poster we didn't have. So we're still at we're still at missing two posters. I did not other that. No way. Fire! Woo! Oh, I didn't get caught that time. <laughs> so, uh, the, uh... There's an, up there's an update for this, for, uh, Hard Space? I am not aware of there being an update. I didn't see if there was an update. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Well, I'll tell you what, after this shift, I will uh, have out and look at my uh, Steam downloads and see if it downloaded a, an update. Oh, uh, yeah, 1.1 1. 1, 1 came out quite some time ago. <clears throat> We've been on 1.1 1. 1 for. I don't know, two or three months. There was some nice... Yeah, I mean, there were some nice changes in it, but I thought yeah, you've been around since... since, uh... since the update like this war. <clears throat> there were some, some nice, uh, cosmetic changes. I'm not really sure what from a, uh... Morning. Fuel levels are low. From uh, a bug fixing stamp. I assume that there are bug fixes. You're gonna make it, and no, I'm gonna make it. Eye on you. This is what we started doing last last week. Yeah, I imagine uh, as. T-Rex is mentioning that if they're coming out of the console version here on the 20th, that they're probably... I sure, I assume we would inherit some kind of bug fix patch as well. Salvage secured. Credit deposited. Processing valuable object. Credit yeah, awarded. Yeah, we're we're uh, but we're still at it. We're still looking for the posters. Um, don't go in the furnace. Um, we don't necessarily cover this game every every live stream. Now we get a couple weeks of satisfactory. And on and off on it. It's Russia still mostly what we do on Saturdays. People keep showing up, they're still interested in watching, and I still love the game, so... I think it is an easy excuse to keep playing. I'm looking forward to 
I'm actually looking forward to replaying this. <clears throat> Probably on a stream we've been talking about it. Uh, at some point, resetting our, our run. And not doing... Not doing the industrial action so that we can legitimately pay off our debt as opposed to have it magically evaporate. That was the only complaint I had about the 1.0. Like, I really felt like they missed the mark by taking away the, the carrot. Hey, Cutter, you've got five minutes left in this ship. Do that. Hope you're having fun. Yeah, it's like, all right, I'm, I'm only two thirds away to the game, but suddenly the, the reason to keep going, which was paying off a debt, it just evaporates all at once, so. Ooblets. Not familiar with that game, I'd have to see what that is. Come on. Pass the furnace. There you go. Deposit accepted for processing. Bad angle. I almost, I almost fired a little, a little premature there. Would have taken out the whole thing. Stuck on everything now, isn't he? Well, don't you get stuck standing up. Run out of time. Oop, I'm gonna leave that bed attached in case we come back through. Airlock pressurizing. Yeah, I saw that cyberpunk. Talking about a, a DLC. Ooh, free fuel! Yeah, baby. Fuel levels restored. I know, you know, I never did get back to playing Cyberpunk after the failed launch and how bad the how bad they did it. Like getting into the rant, but for the most part, I enjoyed the game. Okay, so we can't can't depressurize and come back inside because the only regulator is the one in the inner inner chamber. Ooh, get right. And that one there. So we are going to, to go through the roof. I mean, we, we could depressurize, go to the roof, and come back in, but we'll still have to do a forced depressurization through here because there's no working regulator. In theory, we can go through this roof. You're watching the clock, Cutter? You've got one minute left. All right, uh, since we're running out of time, I'm going to risk of going front of the normal we use a cockpit. I want to try to cut my way out. 
gonna take time. Air pressure level decreasing. And if I were to uh, depressurize the cockpit, to come back in here. There we go. This way we're out for next shift. Which, ironically, we don't have to go back into this way. We could have gone in through that door. <laughs> um, I do want to get back, and I want to play through Cyberpunk. I mean, I want to give it another, another chance that they've... You know, since I haven't played it since shortly after release. I, I stopped playing it after the first patch. Because... Uh, I had a lot of gripes about how bad the launch was of the game. But the core gameplay was actually pretty decent. Uh, my biggest functional problem with the game was that, uh, that there was a lot of keys that were locked, both unbindable and locked into their, their, Hello, ship their default location. Overnight genetic backup complete. So there was Pattern there were, were restrictions from Have binding things day. to the, the number pad, which is ridiculous because left-handed players like to use a number pad. Um, and then the, to add to that sin, they hardbound the most important key in the entire game, which was the interact key, the center of the keyboard. You couldn't rebind it to anywhere else. <laughs> uh, and I found someone had thrown together a mod that would um, that would allow you to that would unlock all the uh, the number pad buttons keys so you could actually map things to them. But the 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 action key was still bound to the middle of the keyboard, so I had to find I had to. Uh, uh, set up a custom script to my mouse make one of my mouse buttons the basically the f key i think the f key would be interact key and uh, it made the game playable Salvage and then their secure. first patch disabled the mod and made all the keys unbindable again airlock pressurizing so i was just I was just so frustrated with with them doing that that I, I don't know if you saw that, I was mouse buttons early. I was so frustrated that I just quit the game on the spot. Alright, we can't go down because the engine's still in the way. We pressurize to the roof, I think we do. Oh, there's so much floating stuff. So I haven't played the game since the first patch. I know they've patched a bunch of stuff that's supposed to fix a bunch of things. I know they haven't undone some of the gripes I had because there were fundamental failures in the design of the game. Like, I'm not being able to customize our cars. I don't think that they've added customization to our cars even though that was the supposed to be in the game. I want all this to go out into deep space. But I am willing to give it another try. I don't want to. It's just a matter of time. Um, I only have so much time for gaming that isn't related to my channel. Because making satisfactory episodes and live streaming takes a lot of time. I'm going to do something really dumb here. I always tell people not to do. I'm going to pre-tether this so that when it blows away, it comes back. Oh, there's nothing for me to grab onto. Here. Uh... Oh, I for 
forgot to grab the atmospheric regulator and put it in the room. Material accepted. Oh. What I was saying is that but the problem with uh, something like Cyberpunk is that I it's not appropriate for my channel. Because it is very adult content. And uh, my channel is family friendly. And I could put a disclaimer on it. But, uh, Transferring credits. It's a little iffy. It's a little bit iffy. Salvage deposit so for the most part, if I play it, I'll be I'll be playing it for my own enjoyment. Processing valuable deposit. Credits transferred. But I will keep an eye out on the on the. Uh, Salvage deposit. Content update. Applying credit to account. If it looks like it's worth playing. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Be, uh... Wait, Vampire Masquerade 2? Um... That's Bloodlines. Is that Bloodlines 2? I remember seeing the announcement of a of a new vampire game. Cause there's there's two vampire games coming out. There's a uh, Sanguine something, I think. Yeah, and I was thinking that it was Bloodlines 2. Um, I think the from what I read about Bloodlines 2, our uh, our clan selection is going to be very limited, which is almost a guaranteed deal breaker for me. Like, if you're going to use the if you're Raw if you're going to do a kind of open worldish game based specifically on the uh, masquerade. You know, World of Darkness franchise. You gotta let us play any clan we want. Which they did in the original. And it was awesome. I appreciate that there are... That it creates challenges. From a design standpoint to make content that is really viable. Across all the different clan abilities. But by developing that kind of a game, take on that responsibility to do that. If that's a challenge that they take on themselves by saying, okay, we're going to make a, a game based on a, a popular existing IP. So if you're going to do that, then you need to do it right. If I can't play Gangrel, I'm sorry. I'm not interested. Credits awarded. I don't know if I've talked about it on stream, but I I played live action role playing LARPing vampire for more than a decade. I am a major Vampire Masquerade fan. If I had a tattoo, it would probably be the, the Gangrel Clan symbol. Salvage deposit secure. In fact, credits awarded. This is my my phone. That's the front of my phone. So that should give you an idea. For the vampire players out there, you'll recognize that symbol.
So I'm I'm very I'm very leery of, of them coming out with a. Uh, Yeah, oh yes, the, the, the original original bloodlines was a work of art. And the so the other again I can't think of the name of it, but the other the other vampire game that's due to come out also has limited plans. And it is Vampire of the Masquerade, but it is not specifically Bloodlines. And so I can I can excuse it a little bit better. No. If, if they're wanting to tell a game, you know, if they're wanting to tell a story, they're wanting to make a game and tell a story centered around certain clans, that's okay, you know? But uh, it, it's its own, it makes it its own IP at that point. But if you're going to carry on the legacy and make part two of a, a major awesome game, then you got to do it right. Swan, yeah, Swan, Swan Song, right, yeah. Yeah, I knew there was a second. There was a two games in progress. Neither one of them are allowed to play in the plan. That really came apart, didn't it? Hey, Cutter. All processor. It is. All right. Um, I feel like I did, so I'm drawing a blank on it right now. Is that the one? <clears throat> there was there was a vampire PC game where you could make your own campaigns. There was there was a campaign built into it. You could also make your own campaign. I don't think that was Bloodlines. I think that, that might have been the other one. It had, it had an editor built into it and everything. You could, you know, a person could play as a as the game master, and you could uh, your character was separate from the game, so you could take your character from campaign to campaign. It was pretty neat. Salvage goal reached. Rewards assigned. Yeah. Yeah, I played that. That was really neat. And you play any clan, you had you know, a lot of versatility in that. I don't remember too much about the storyline. I think... I think the storyline, you were a Bruja. And you slept to win the Torpor and ended up sleeping into modern day. I think there was a warp modern day. You had to play. You had to play old times and and uh, modern day in it, which was pretty neat. Yeah, I forgot about that game. They did a pretty good job on that one. All right, we know there's plenty of fuel here, so let's go ahead and take that one. Oh, there's a floor below us. <laughs> we're not going. We're not going to throw that down with the floor in the way. Up you go. That was a sloppy shot. Accepted for processing. Salvage registered. Transferring credit. Okay. Got the 
a little high. I thought I was gonna hit the uh, aluminum on the top. Soon be a spinning shoe. One minute left to finish things up, Cutter. Salvage secured. Like we're way behind on the ship. Talking about vampire, forgetting about the. Kind of running on auto here. Come on, turn. Oh, uh, it's not gonna turn. So I haven't got the back side out. Oh man, yeah, we are way behind on the ship. Let's cancel that. I remember now the strategy that we came up with last time. Set that on fire, please. We last time we popped the sides out and flipped them upwards so that we could empty all the stuff out of them. And it worked out great, but we don't have enough time left in this ship. Let's pick the part. I'm going to out. Oh yeah, because we lost that regulator during the uh, decompression event. Grab, take it off the wall. Let's put everything else in in the airlock. I forgot to grab that one, and I, I mentally told myself grab that, and then I was like, oh wait, I gotta grab the floating things first, and forgot to come back and get it. Good morning, shipbreaker. This is your daily wake up call. Talk about uh, uh, original games being way better than everything that came after it. Uh, when I think about that, I think of the original Magic the Gathering game. Uh, Andazar or something like that. <laughs> Had a full adventure mode in it and everything. It was so good. And uh, the AI was pretty good compared like... You know, I've played pretty much all of the Magic the Gathering PC games. And the AI in all of them since then has been pretty bad. Fewer cards to fewer cards for the AI to deal with. <laughs> and and uh, and pre-built decks for the AI and yet the the they could do a terrible job on them. And uh, the story mode in in uh, in Azar, Shen Shen I can't remember what they have it now. Uh, the story mode campaign was super fun. I've played through it multiple times over the years. It's one of those games that was so good that people have had to make. Uh, mods just so that it can run on a modern computer because it was so old of a game that it uh, it didn't pace itself properly. Like the the game clock doesn't doesn't salvage deposit register. doesn't pace itself. Account credited. Like uh, uh, I don't know if you guys if any of you actually played it, but there was a salvage secured. There was a kind of open world map that you would run around and you'd build your deck and do quests for for towns and uh, fight creatures out in the wild, you know, that all had magic decks. 
and uh, there was uh, a, kind of an evil wizard for each color, and you, the ultimate goal was to assault them in their in their castles and, and defeat them. And on the overworld map, uh, game. Guess when the game was, was made? You were just running around the a map, and they didn't they didn't set a pace for your character to move. And so it was it was like as fast as your computer would run is how fast your character would move across the map. There was no there was no uh, in-game clock speed that. Which was fine for the speed of computers at the time that came out, but on a modern, on a modern uh, machine, you, know, you start off standing in the map, and if you like tap the right key to take one step to the right, your character would zip across the entire map and off into the, the world just instantly, just, <laughs> just gone because the, the, the computer was so much, computers are so much faster. People had to come out with mods to set an actual pace that your character walked at. And everything just ran at super high, high, hyper pacing. Pretty hilarious. So if you want to play it, if you want to play it now, you have to, you have to mod it. Because it is unplayable otherwise. I, I don't really fault them for, you know. That was a thing back then when people had Base sixes and three eighty six computer and there was salvage goal achieved. Rewards allocated. Processing speed of a computer was slow. <laughs> now, there was no need no concern of uh need to time some things. But that was like the original bloodlines, it was salvage a game that was confirmed. way ahead of its time. Applying credit. And, uh, nothing in its genre has gotten anywhere near it since then. Yeah, it's... Uh, I mean, it's been a thing about old classic games. I don't think I'm not really thinking of that game in gen in a purpose specifically, but um, we've definitely over over the years seen where with you know increasing graphic capabilities of computers that developers have gone for eye candy over quality content. Well, we can make it pretty. That's going to be good enough. No. I don't know. That's not good. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. You know, games back in the day had to be good because they... content was all they had. They couldn't rely on nice graphics. I think we have a thing down here still. We have all that thing. Oh, yeah, we have one. Focus a little bit. I don't the ship to fall. But I will admit, I have gotten spoiled by uh, good graphics in games, to a degree. Object processed. So I'm kind of, kind of in a middle ground of really appreciating a lot of the old stuff, but not being too willing to go back to them because that doesn't go there. Because, you know, sometimes you end up ruining your memory of a good game by like coming back to it and going, oh, yeah. This didn't hold up well. 
Like, I tried to go back and play uh, the original Knights of the Old Republic, which was another another groundbreaking, amazing game. And I tried to play it on a modern computer, and just like it doesn't like it doesn't scale properly on a modern screen, and it was like I cannot play this. I'm just gonna have to rely on my fond memories of how good this game was. Just, and the control scheme was clunky. That was just something I didn't remember playing it originally. You know, Processing valuable objects. Credits away. Well, you know, one of the benefits we've gotten from having bigger screens and, and nicer graphic cards is in the, the user interface for games. It's 640 by 480. Yeah, that, I think that I think that Jake was. Uh, that sounds right for for Kotor. Um, one of the big benefits we have from modern graphics and modern computer, uh, modern uh, video cards and whatnot, having big screens, is that we can have more intricate user interfaces that gives us a lot more functionality on the screen that we could have done back on our smaller screens at the low resolutions. Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. And so sometimes it's a little rough going back and going, oh, this is, you know, we didn't think anything of it back then because that was the norm. But we don't, don't necessarily want to go back to doing it the way it was, the way it was before. Like, one of my favorite games that I just can't bring myself to play through again is um, Railroad Tycoon 2. Railroad, Ty Railroad Tycoon 2, in my opinion, by far the best Railroad game ever released. Just every aspect of that game is amazing. Uh, but the problem is that there is no scaling of the graphics, and playing it on a modern computer, basically, like, your trains are life-size, and take up the whole screen, because there's just no, no scaling of it whatsoever, and so you see virtually nothing. There's just so little information on the screen, because it's packed into what used to be a small screen. And I just can't bring myself to, to stare at these gigantic Object pixelated things anymore. Credits deposited. There's five minutes left. Finish this five minutes. All good. Which is a shame good. that it's such a great game. And it's like I don't think that it's a game that can be modded to scale up because it was. Um, there's a border around the screen, and so everything was everything that was in that window is all that can be in that window. Can't can't scale that up. Lights are still on. I need to get a. I really want to finish this, this shift. Deposited. This credit here. To account. There's clearly still a... I'm going to grab the power cells. Stop moving the whole ship Salvage around, please. Secured. Credits awarded. Oh. We'll find those power cells. Flip this. I know I've seen them, but... Applying credit. Talking about, uh, I shouldn't have done that. I have to shut this off. Feather down. Where is the purple cubes that I've seen? Not going to finish that shift. There it is. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. Go, go, 
go. What stuff? Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. Oh. Final salvage complete. All rewards allocated. Registered. Off too violently. Okay. That worked out. Salvage you stuck too. Really? The furnace was stuck, or the mattress was stuck to the boards? The bins? Left. Salvage Left. deposited. Applying credit to account. Mattress goes to furnace. Door handles, door handles, no door handles. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I'm not seeing anything forgotten. Who's gonna work for it? something. There we go. That counts. Salvage Get in there. Secured. One minute left, Cutter. Start finishing things up. All right? Okay, for things I might have missed. Bunch of fuel canisters. Is a, a Gavin. I think I saw something about a, a new re-release -re of Doom, Doom One or Two. That's coming up. Like modern, modern day re-release of it. Doom 64, I think that was what they were calling it. Was, I guess it was like a Nintendo 64 port. Or I don't know. I didn't really follow it. Uh, 98.9. Just shy of 99. Of that, that regulator. Now we're, we're $1 remaining. Minus $1 remaining. Does that mean they owe us a dollar? Wait, I think there's a new Doom coming out. Or a new Doom... One or two coming in. Yeah. No, if someone wants to check. I, I say, I think it was Doom 64, but I think it's. Good morning, ship breaker. Lynx mandates a maximum of eight hours of sleep. Any extra sleep time will be docked from Steam. the next pay cycle. Not sure where I saw, but I know I sent it. article or something to a friend recently. There is a Doom 64, but that's from two years ago. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to go back to my my text I sent to, to a buddy the other day. Unless it was leaving early access or something. I don't know. 
We were both we were both big Doom nerds. We both made uh, Doom levels. You talk about lim limitations of old computers. Uh, he made a Doom level. So, um, in Doom, if you played through Doom 2, I think it was, they had uh, the last, I think it was the last level, uh, had spawners in it that could spawn creatures. You know, normally in a Doom level, all the creatures are pre-placed around the map. But f in, for them to... Uh, to do the last level, they had to add spawners to the game. So, of course, they were available to us as map makers. And, uh, for, uh, look for a gecko. Alpha Drunner. Second. I need to be focused when we go into the jab on heavy cargo and we're kind of, kind of uh, in talking mode. Uh, he made a he made a level that had like three or four spawners on it, and uh, it would spawn so it it would spawn so many creatures over time that eventually the map would crash. Because computers at the time couldn't handle that much stuff, and it wasn't—it was a variable how long it would take for it to crash. We had a minimal amount of time, and you know it, it would it would run reliably for a certain amount of time, and any time after that it could crash at any moment. And it became our favorite map to play. You know, at first it was like, oh, the you know the map's unplayable, but then it was like, no, it was we would we would co-op, we'd you know, play or dial up. And it, it became an artificial timer in the map that we had to beat the map with, with, before it crashed. And uh, it became our favorite map. We played, we played it so much. And it was because of computer limitations. The, that, then the map would crash. If we, if we took too long to beat it, it would crash because there were too many, too many creatures on it. And it also spawned a... Uh, a a reference that him and I used today, which was freeing up resources, <clears throat> which meant mass murder. You know, they were like, where you know, where are you at? You know, because like we knew where the spawners were, and so we, uh, at some point, we were communicating, and one of us was like, so you know, where are you at on the map, or what are you doing? And the other one, the other one of us replied, oh, I'm freeing up resources, which what he meant was he was killing. Killing lots of uh, bad guys because he was trying to free up resources so the game wouldn't crash. And so that's become an internal reference between him and I. Uh, shorthand for murdering lots of bad guys. Uh, so we're going to, I'm going to, all right, so we're going to go ahead and tackle this because it's coming up again and the, and the, the, gek, the, the, the uh, gecko I want to do is not up yet. So uh, for anyone who wasn't, here when I was talking about uh, the plan for today, I want to get that that you know, we're trying to do maximum first shift run on Javelin Hitch Cargos, but we've got pretty good at doing it on the the ones with the ion rings, the tanker. And last time we tried to do this, and it wasn't the new style. And we, I want to come up with strategies for the new style. So we're going to start this one. And we're going to visor peer through the walls and see if it has cargo containers on the inside or if it has the internal cylinder. Uh, if it has the cargo containers, we're going to do the ship. If it has internal cylinders, we're going to abandon ship and we're just going to look for something else. One specifically to test out strategies of that new type. Um, so, uh, the strategy is where we did do a little bit of an adaptation of the strategy last time before we realized that the interior wasn't the right type. Um, so we're going to tether the bottom cargoes 
I need to get this right in my head. We're going to tether the bottom cargoes first. Um, while they're moving... See, we're, we were talking about tethering the plates. And I want to be able to try tethering the plates, but we need the cargo to be out of the way. And we have to limit the amount of tethers we're using, because the first time we did this, we were maxed out the amount of tethers that were alive. So we need to be able to bounce back and forth between it. So last time we tethered the bottom ones and we spent the time while they were on their way to the barge cutting off the side plates, but we also want to tether the side plates. Uh, I think we tether a bottom row, switch over, tether the other bottom row, cut off the bottom plates because we don't need to tether those. Then we tether the side plates, because by then we can cancel tethers. Yeah, and then, then we go straight to the back, try to get to the reactor. And if we have enough time, come back to the front, because we want to get inside and start popping open the rings and see if we can get to those other cargo containers. The thing is that I have no... I have no idea on how we're going to depressurize the middle of the ship. I don't know what to expect. I don't know if we're going to have to do a violent depressurization. I've only seen the ship once, and we didn't know what we were doing when we got there the first time. So, <clears throat> we're going to play it by ear. My ultimate goal, though, is to get into the interior and get to those cargo containers before the end of the first shift without sacrificing getting the reactor. And, of course, we also need to get the nacelles. So... We have to focus on this one. All right. Then we'll get back to talking about classic games or whatever after the first shift. A little caffeine going here, a little sugar. Oh, 12 tethered, okay. So we're gonna have to come back fairly soon. Oh, game's taking a thing. Oh, it is having a struggle. Why is it struggling? Uh, it's a cylinder interior. This is not the one we want. That is not cargo. We're going to abandon this ship and look for another one. Airlock depressurizing. Doom, Doom Remake 4, is that what it... 3D Maker over there, yeah, that sounds right. Airlock pressurizing. Okay, yeah, we're not going to do this ship. Can't test our strategies on this one. Look at all these. I guess they're shipping chairs, so they didn't look like they didn't look like a comfortable. Oh, the whole screen just shook. I'm gonna fly through real quick and make sure there aren't any posters in here. Though. Although I don't, I don't want to go flying through ships looking for posters and then abandoning. So we need to find them legit. Yeah, rail, rail gate. That was, but it was weird. The rail gate made the entire interior shift shake like that. <clears throat> All right, find a different ship. Now, of course, since we didn't save that, if we find another tanker, then it'll be a new tanker. Again, we're also looking for. Uh, uh, Salvage runner, so. <sighs> Hello, ship breaker. Please enjoy this inspiration. So, you're asking message. what's the worst thing that the I've done in this game? The percent of a job takes as much energy as the first 90%, which it's is why it's so important to always give 110%. Have to restart. Mm -hmm. This should be a different javelin heavy cargo. Um, 
the worst thing that I've done in this game. <clears throat> I mean, we've run into we've run into some bad things, blown up a few ships, but I don't typically take credit for that. <laughs> like we had a. Uh, Cargo, it's cargo. Um, I'm gonna have to think about what the worst thing I've done in this ship. Because um, we're pretty good about not blowing things up. We've had a lot of weird things happen from depressurization bugs. Uh, there was that time when uh, we had. Uh, the front half of a javelin blow itself past the master jack. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. What was that? Because I don't think that was a uh, pressurization bug. I think it was. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit. I wonder what caused it. I'm hearing sounds that I don't normally hear. One more tether. Caution. No tethers remaining. Yeah, something's going weird in my game. I'm seeing a little bit of stutter. Not too much right now. The screen's shaking a lot more than it normally does at the rail gate. I'm hearing sounds from... Welcome. Salvage secured. Credit deposited. From all the cargo containers detaching, which are cool sounds, but I don't normally hear that. There aren't as many plates on this one as I normally see. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. Tell me something's going weird with the game. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. Yeah, not as many plates as normal. Be as much. I mean, it's probably good for us because we're we're wanting to work on our strategy for the interior. And the less time we spend doing this stuff, the more time we have to get to it. Salvage deposit accepted. It's like less cargo than we need to. I should have canceled tethers before I tethered all those. Alright, let's uh... The ones that are on the barge are counting against our tether count. This will go fast. I almost feel like I should intentionally cut the uh... Cut through the titanium. To just to depressurize the interior. But we don't want to... We're still trying to, you know, do our highest percentage, and so destroying stuff on purpose in service of getting our first shift done faster, and contrary to our ultimate goals in the games. Airlock depressurizing. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Let me. Salvage registered. Transferring credit. I thought on something and I already forgot what that thought was. And there was something else I wanted to do with this ship after the first shift. I don't remember what it was now. Just thought of it and I forgot. Oh, panicking. Salvage deposit registered. So when I was thinking about this ship earlier, strategically I wanted to. That's the help.
I'll remember because when I was flying to this part of the ship, it stuck out to me. And I forgot already. I went on to focus on the next. So I trust when I look at the ship, I'll remember. Pressurizing. Something I've got to do before I go inside. Really important detail. Save me a bunch of time. settings and it wasn't this loud on the previous ship. When I got on this ship there was a weird stutter. That was when I got in the previous the, the previous uh yeah, well, the one we abandoned. There was a real hard stutter and then suddenly everything was wacko. I mean something got out of place in memory. Experiment. Uh, 
I'm gonna just cut this free now. Head out of the way. Five minutes left, cutter, okay? This can make it in without getting registered. eaten by the furnace. That'll be good. And babysit you. Depressurize this. Wait a minute. We looked and there was cargo. I saw cargo. I. S I distinctly saw car. Was I looking at the cargo on the other side of the ship through the ship? Okay, well, that kind of ruins that. Entirely. Valuable object process. Credits awarded. I feel like we just abandoned this ship. Salvage goal obtained. Additional rewards assigned. That's not the type we're looking for. Yeah, I mean, because we're, we're, we had three or four more shifts to go. I mean, it was a good dry run on, on getting all that going, but I think we're going to abandon this ship because I swear I looked into it and I saw cargo. And I want to do one of those cargo ships. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and abandon it. Um, Yeah, it's that as well, Gavin. I want to want to restart the game. It's stuttering a bit and um, you guys can look at a black screen for a minute. Hopefully this will reset all my all my audio. I mean, the sounds were cool, and it's telling me that maybe I might want to consider up uh, nudging up some of the sounds that I normally have turned down. But I don't want them that loud.
So, uh, uh, T-Rex, you were asking about the worst thing I've done. I'm gonna flip it around. One of the best things I've done was off of a, a bad Mr. event. Link's mandates a maximum of eight hours of sleep. Uh, Any some people extra sleep present time will be docked were, from the next were present for it to happen. We had, a uh, Back before 1.0 came out, when uh, salvage runners were uh, were death trap, pick our tools real quick. Uh, we depressurized. There's still some stuttering going. I don't want to have to reboot my machine entirely. Uh, we I don't trust that. That's a different. One. I don't think we had two ghost ships last time. Uh, we had we had a uh, a salvage runner. I'm gonna load this. I I this has to be the same ship, but the the rest of the list looks like it's different to me. Like we didn't have two ghosts in a row. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to I'm going to verify this cuz this shouldn't be the same ship. But this is a, like it, we keep seeing heavy cargo in the same place. This makes me feel like it is the same ship. And I didn't catch the name of of the last one. It was the Phoenix. It had a different owner. Okay. Uh, we had a uh, we had a uh, a salvage run that we depressurize from the cockpit, as we normally do, that went into, went into, I mean, it just came apart. It just really, everything just, everything that could go wrong went wrong during the depressurization. And, uh, and after the chain reaction was done, uh, the, it went into meltdown. This is definitely a different ship. Okay, this is because I can see I can see the um, connection points inside the hull. This is definitely a, a, what we're looking for. Uh, but we were trapped in the in the front of the ship, and it went to meltdown. Brand new ship, and uh, we escaped. We escaped the ship. It was no small task in itself because the ship literally had, it was just a minefield. Everything had come apart. You could barely see where you were at. And, um, we made it out of the ship alive. And I knew that last one missed. We made it out of the ship alive with the meltdown timer going. And, uh,. Applying credit to account. We used demo charges and blew a hole through the bottom of the ship and pulled the, the reactor out of the ship as it was melting down. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. And got it to the barge just before it could go off. Welcome to Venditron 9000. Thank you for your Heather's restored. And uh, if you were interested in seeing that, I made a special clip of it. Yeah, Gavin, you're there. Uh, there is a. Uh, I have a video out there somewhere in there. That's uh, I think the title something like "Class Class Two Reactor Melting Down." Don't panic or something like that. Stay calm. And it's just that clip. So if you're interested in seeing it. Uh, it was quite a, it was quite a thing. It's one of my moments I am most proud of. Salvage secured. Applying credit. Uh, bumpers are making it difficult to get the... Salvage accepted. Credit applied. Get the angle there. This is something we gotta get used to in the strategy is flying outside the bumpers. Salvage secured. Credit deposit. 
deposited. <clears throat> I feel like this is fast as we could go. Yes, I'm getting stuck in those bumpers. The cargo is keeping me from getting a good angle. It's gonna take it's just gonna take practice. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Practice to do that more efficiently. I, I think it's good, I think. I think we have a good order on this. I'm having to fire inwards, which is risking hitting the titanium. <clears throat> Where are we going? All right, cancel tethers. Go over my limit while these are moving. See, those are definitely cargo containers on the inside. Salvage secured. Applying credit. Airlock depressurizing. Money. <clears throat> I don't really want to spend the time credit applied. getting these, but I'm afraid that they will get in our way for, you know, if we get in in time. I'm afraid they'll cause us problems trying to open up these rings. I guess they wouldn't, because the, uh, the plate that they're on is already holding it together. But they would keep us from turning them in, because they go to the barge. Salvage registered. Transferring credit. Go, let go, let go, let go. Airlock depressurizing. That was more smooth than last time. No. Stuck flying out last time. Credit transferred. And I'm also moving more smoothly too. I 
decided if I was truly speed running, I would increase my rotation speed. Salvage secured. Credit deposited. I have it turned down, <clears throat> turned down a bit so I don't spin in circles. Because I'm not actually speed running, I'm not willing to permanently change my settings. Deposit accepted. Credits transferred. This is just a personal challenge. Now we have that warm up round. This doing this more smoothly now. Unintentional warm up round. Arnold. Airlock depressurizing. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Airlock pressurizing. Air pressure level decreasing. Airlock depressurizing. Trying to do things while the while the air was keeping me from flying in. All right, I'm gonna try this again. I don't know that was a smart thing to do, but maybe we can move it, let the whole thing move forward a little bit, and then separate the next two. If we are speed running, I would not worry about these lights. But we are still hey Cutter, five minutes efficiency left over. Alright. Overall. Okay, I am not gonna try to pull the, the reactor through that little hole. <laughs> it needs to move a little bit more. Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. Get these out of the way. A little risky, but I'm going for it. Oh, yep, bumping, bumping. Woo! Salvage accepted. Credit applied. We let that continue on its way while we shut off the ECU. So this is what we need to do. We need to... It's okay to have something that goes slow if we find other things to do while we're waiting on it. This is something that's got to be done anyway. It would probably be smart to... Uh... to uh, cut the ECU from the wall and we're on the inside. But Salvage that ends up cutting the wall of the floor below it. Don't want to do unnecessary cuts. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. We're not going to make it to the new stuff. Their supplies are low. I get the ECU out of here. Valuable object process. Credits awarded. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Can't can't tether it out and cancel the tether because I need those tethers for. Okay, I can't. I just said they were going already. Took so much time. Woo! 
Salvage destroyed. Please pay attention. That was close. In there. Done with you. I should spend some time grabbing Salvage those uh, door handles because. Applying credit to account. We're not gonna have enough time to do the air stuff. Get away from that furnace. If I want to fly in here anyway, and see what we'd like. We can't depressurize by cutting through here because I'm not gonna send stuff out of that fuel. We need a strategy for how we depressurize this room. There's no regulator. That means we have to go to the front. Or One minute left. Blow it. Start finishing things up. All right. Oh, this would work. Pressure level decreasing. Okay, apparently that took the whole thing. Processing object. Applying credit to account. Ah! Ah, stop moving. I'm stingering because I don't have the time to look to see what is a titanium panel that would accidentally cut through. Oh, nothing coming off. Ah. Okay. Ah. Six, almost 17 million. That's still... I think that is our best on one of these. Well, I mean, we've only done two of them. <laughs> I mean, we did the we did the other cargo one that was the interior, uh, a normal one, which we got sixteen something. Um, I think this is the most just generic, generic speaking, on a tanker. So it was still good. Looks like a couple of lights made it in with a with something. I don't care about. Uh, a funny way I died. Uh, that's an easy one. That happened in this this playthrough. <clears throat> it was the uh, the first time the first AI ship we did on this playthrough murdered me. Uh, you're right, Gavin. They probably got scared. If the, I don't know if the back end got turned in or not. I don't know if it made it. I would think it did, but uh, it probably there probably were some scooped into it. Hello, ship breaker. Overnight genetic backup complete. Pattern deviation nominal. Yeah, the uh, the first AI ship we did on this this run straight up murdered us. It was brutal. Oh yeah, okay, they did get turned in. Which makes sense given the amount of money we got out of it. That was a huge chunk of money. Nice. Yeah, you know I couldn't pay attention to that, so... Oh man! I uh, can't get back inside. It warped us out. Oh no. I think the door's open. I know I've taken all the door handles. Of course, unfortunately, we've depressurized that chamber. Like, if we'd left that door handle, we could have gotten in. That door we could have opened up. But we might, we might be in a little bit of a pickle here. But our, our first AI ship, we um, we were 
the, the AI kept closing doors on us and repressurizing. It does, but it, it was doing it. It was doing it like as fast as we could turn a switch. It would. We'd open the. You know, you'd go through the depressurization. It would close the door or open the door, and then they would immediately close the door and repressurize it. And they kept doing that. And so I hit the switch. I hit the switch, and I switched to uh, the, the the split saw. And as soon as the door shut, I. I hit the button to close, uh, to cut the door out, and they pressurize it at the same time. And the door blew open, uh, hit our hit our visor, and broke a hole in it. And while we we're bleeding out and, and suffocating, they proceeded to close all the other doors in the in the in the ship and repressurize everything, so we couldn't get out. Like we, we flew to one door and they closed it as we got to the door and, and you could hear it pressurizing. So we flew to the airlock, which was open. And as we got to the airlock, they closed it and pressurized it. It was, it was a straight up murder. It's an airlock. Oh, this is the back of the ship, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't remember what what episode that was. I can't tell you which one to go back and watch, but uh, it was... It was incredible. It was the start of a, of a... a vendetta against the ghost ships that we still carry today. Yeah, yeah, it was... It was like there was an active player who was controlling the AI. What was it that we did wrong that wouldn't let this open up? Did we just grab a wrong segment? We got two there, three open. Okay, so we got three or four. We have four. Okay, so we have four cut points open there, which means we were guaranteed to get at least a, a two segment. Because just glancing at this, I can't tell you. Because right, it's it's two rings at a time. Two rings are fused together by a titanium plate, and from the inside. While I was running around, I couldn't tell you which ones were the fused ones. I mean, now that I have time to look, right there's a break. That's a solid, so this should be a fused ring. And we freed those up, so this should have come apart. Oh, I missed this. That was what I missed. I got all the other ones. That was the one I missed. Okay, I knew there was something I was missing to get this open quickly. We were we were just so out of time. I was just pretty much cutting at random. Salvage secured. Applying credit. I was hoping to get just pop one of these open so that we could you know maybe tether a couple of these down and get credit for them. Oh man, that's moving slow. Here it now looks. Caution. Tethers completed. That's the last other. <clears throat> the quest. Oh, we forgot to get this. Oh, that's free money. Free money. Passed it up. Welcome to Vendetron 9000. The reason we didn't get it is because they flew past it to look inside the shell to see if we were going to keep this ship. And my intent was to come right back and grab it. And I just, I got so excited that it was the right kind of ship that it just went to the next stage. Um, it's a little too late now to check, but you know, could do a little math to see the value of these shipping crates versus the ECU. 
because um, lost a lot. Well, that's not much of what we lost. I need to look at that a little more carefully. I don't see any aluminum on that thing that went in. Uh, deposit accepted. You know, and decide whether or not the time we spent getting the ECU is worth it versus breaking this open and getting several cargo containers out. I, if I had to guess, I'd have to say we'd get more money by getting in here than getting the ECU. And the ECU is worth a lot of money. But getting to the ECU and cutting it all free takes a fair amount of time, whereas just popping this open gives us access to a lot of crates. I would expect we could probably get enough crates to, ju to, to justify not grabbing the ECU in the first pass. There is no... Well, I saw, I saw something. There it is. Okay, there's the aluminum. That's right, it's the little, the little knobs here. Oh, T-Rex, uh, chat has trolled me plenty. I mean, they don't do it as much as they did back back in our original run-through. <clears throat> they no longer play the, the running out of gas game. Because the, uh, the, the game... The game doesn't let me run out of fuel anymore. Thanks to the, the, the nuisance alarm. You know, they, they used to play the, let's see how much we can distract him because his fuel's running low. Game. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. They weren't good at the game. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Because I ran out of fuel plenty often in the previous version. Ah, I just remembered the other thing I wanted to test. I told you there was something else when I was thinking about strategies. It was this sealed chamber here. Um, I wanted to see... I don't think that it's a thing. But you know, like last time, based on, you know, suggestion, we, we, we opened it up by cutting this bottom panel out which succeeded in opening it without it breaking anything. But it still left uh, a shaving of aluminum on it that I wasn't real happy about. I still think it was the best scenario. I think it, it was an improvement in our strategy. But I want to try isolating that whole thing and pulling it away from the ship. So it's just its own ring and see if we can get access maybe from the inside and get a better angle on it. I knew there was something else. I knew that I would remember it once we got into further into the ship. Airlock depressurizing. Oh, well, we need to get all the back of the ship done here. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. We just had another thought, left, which is last All time good. we had problems with this thing closing good. itself. Credits awarded. And we wanted to leave it, we wanted to leave it open. When we depressurized that, it closed and we didn't want it to close. So I think I'm going to disable it. I, I'm going to, I'm going to break this out. And what might happen is it might depressurize this. But I don't think it will. I think what will happen is it will leave the door non-functional. Well, we should go in here first and see if there's a working regulator. Because <clears throat> if I break the airlock out, this door is going to stop working. And we'll have to cut it out, which I'm just probably still the better thing to do. Okay, it's still working. On a, on a non-working regulator, 
Air pressure level decreasing. What we've tried in the past is is cutting out this door, but then it closed the other door and we had to cut it out, so we had two Air depressurization events. Have a good night, T-Rex. Thanks for joining us. Hope to see you on the next next run. Uh, but I'm thinking that if we don't have a working regulator, we can stop that deep that double depressurization by breaking this airlock before we go in. That way, uh, we'd cut the door to go in as opposed to cutting it to come out. And it wouldn't it, that way it wouldn't be able to close the next door and repressurize again. If that made any sense whatsoever. face with that. I'm going to come back and line up and cut this thing again. <laughs> I think all those lights were the, the little button lights from somewhere. I don't think we left any lights on anything. Eighty thousand worth of destroyed stuff. I wonder if that hasn't a lot. How much money we've lost in that aluminum? I didn't check there. Because now those rings have all those little aluminum knobs on them. Can't avoid losing all that. Good morning, Shipbreaker. Please enjoy the following inspirational message Success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. If you love what you do, you will be successful. The 
pressurized. And that door is closed. I'm going to do the back. All right. Make a mental note. The only charge. We only have five. All right. Let's kind of get this place real quick. We're going to have to go back and buy more. I miss our old strategy for freeing up this ring. The air bridge. <clears throat> With demo charges. It was a fun use for them. Material deposited. Account credit applied. Way so we don't Fuel have to. Aluminum low. backing. Right. I used to cut all four sides of those one at a time with the split saw. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Due to a comment from a viewer that I stopped doing that. Just staring the whole thing off in one shot. Really? It still doesn't make any sense to me. If the whole thing melts in one one piece, but. Definitely a better way of doing it. Shouldn't be the number of the corners. 
but we'll test it. Going to those first. Maybe the other corners. This whole thing. Raw material deposited. Transferring credits. Please cooperate. Are you serious? I'm not sure what to cut to get that free. Now oh, that's the whole back piece. Sorry, cutting going on here. Don't want to cut that entire back shielding off. You're really still not moving. I just <laughs> the entire back part is not even there anymore. Material accepted. Credits assigned. Ah. Uh, hey, um I'm open to suggestions. And there it goes. That only cost us like half a shift. Alright, let's go get our demo charges. Let's pick up some fuel ore here. Charges, fuel. Fuel levels restored. No. Hey, we missed the door. Handle. It still felt weird, Gavin, getting picking up the fuel without without the alarm going off. It's like there was a little more fuel left in the tank. Five minutes left to get your work done. Okay, Cutter? 
thing that I always re-examine and always come up with the same conclusion is we have to cut these right here. Although we don't have to be as close to the fuel tank when we do it. Every time I press the button near this thing, I expect an explosion. Might help if I detach it. Okay, so now this thing's moving. That's going to make it even more fun. To... Stop. Stop, please. Do not want to have to shoot this as a moving target. We already had one of them blow up on us. out of here. You're nervous. We determined last time that it really is best to go ahead and cut these. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. We tried working around it by cutting cage stuff, but it was just too much trouble and we ended up losing some aluminum that we don't have to lose. should do before we move that cage because it can catch them and take them out with it. Make this a little easier. I don't want to hit it hard while the cage is in the way. its way out and it didn't. Try to mess with you. Spent so much time fighting with that uh Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. Yeah. Housing of the radiation housing. Cutter, there's one minute left till the end of the shift. Being mysteriously stuck. Other oh, patients just tell her I'm gonna go. Salvage deposit. So this is gonna detach the sealed area. There it is. That's what I was wondering. Whether or not that was a true seal. It is not. Now where all those shards go? That was not a desirable outcome. Well, Actually, they went to the barge. Nothing did. Okay.
Yeah, so that was not... That was the thing I was curious about. If, if we if we isolated that... Oh. For that ring section. On both sides, whether or not it was a true seal. It should be. Obviously it's not. So the... That doesn't make sense. Like that back plate that should be the the front side Hello, ship seal. Breaker. Please enjoy this inspirational message. The last 10% of a job look at it. takes as much energy as the first 90 And whether or not it's popped which out is why it's so important and in between the rings or not. It's not doing a good job of articulating what I'm thinking. I just want to get a closer look at it. Yeah, so like, this is the rear seal. And it's halfway embedded into the, the, the cylinder. And I'm wondering if that one right there, if it's completely outside or if it's halfway in as well. I guess he is halfway in as well, so it should have been a seal. That should. Yeah, that's just another uh, failing. We, you know, we've talked about in the past where some things that should be sealed clearly aren't. Pockets with, with interiors and whatnot. I mean, that wasn't too bad of a blowout. But I don't know that it's better than the other strategy of cutting the aluminum bottom. Yeah, there's. We only got one of the corner. I think there's four corner debris. We only got one of them turned in. I know where another one is because I just didn't. It didn't take time to grab it and move it because we were running out of time. I didn't want it to. There it is. I didn't want it to run out of time and while we're moving and having it go somewhere else. So I need to locate the other stuff. There it is. Anyway, did I just send something into the furnace that should have been a processor item? I did, didn't I? It seemed awfully Valuable light to be a processor item, though. Like for me to check. Okay, it was. I see it like it was both corners that went off. Was this was this panel aluminum and this one was? There must have been a second aluminum panel, because the two pieces I just chucked came from this panel right here, and they were processor. First, the first two came from this panel. This must have been an aluminum panel. Normally we see like like a, a chunk like this pop out, and we know that's aluminum. But these these corner ones are usually processor. The bottom one we know is aluminum. So that does seem a little odd to me. It must have been a, norm, a random a random uh, aluminum replacement. Definitely an anomaly. Oh, 
if there is nano floating overhead, where did those aluminum Solid pieces come from? This is the only other missing chunk. And I, I think so. I think that was it. I expected to find four pieces, and I found four pieces. Although there is more shattered... Yeah, there is more shattered stuff here. Where did all of that come from? Raw material deposited. This is aluminum as well. <clears throat> I'm not entirely sure where this came from. Yeah, I'd have to, I'd have to go back and look at what it looked like before the before the shattering because I felt like there was only four pieces. But here are the other other processor piece. None of the no, we all the aluminum was still there. Well, I mean now we've already sent it into the into the furnace, but all the aluminum was still there. I'm not entirely sure what. Aluminum panel it was that broke. Material deposited. That thing. Damn it. Oh, all the way over there. There's an entire panel. I'm confused. Object processed. Transferring credits. Oh, okay. Right. The aluminum back... I got... Okay, 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 okay. The aluminum came from here. Right. Those blew out. I gotcha. I guess all of the shards of processor came from this side, and that panel stayed intact. It just popped off. All right, it's all making sense now. See how much. <laughs> this is the way I like. I like to have open access to that panel there because, see, there was no no Raw leftover aluminum content. on that cut. Credits deposited. That wall was not in the way, so I can get a better angle on it. That's the only thing I don't like about doing the the strategy of cutting that out to depressurize. Like, I think what just happened with the explosive trained. depressurization. I don't think we lost any material. Technically, the better method. Yeah, that's free. It's not a cleaner method, but from a, a, a loss standpoint, it's a better method. I think I, think I want to continue to, to try to refine the cutting it off the bottom strategy, though, to see if we can get the, the clean cut reliably. Because the loss is trivial. Oh, 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 oh. I was wondering why it was spinning downwards. That. Actually, there we missed. That. Processing valuable object. Credit awarded. Accepted. Or 
we're gonna do is we're gonna pop all the bottom pieces off. No! Ah, I wanted to switch to the stinger. I wanted to switch to the stinger and I ended up switching to my grappler instead and then I switched back and hit the button on accident. I almost got through it without a cut. Close. Um, there wouldn't be an option if you if you breached the sealed compartment Valuable into the cargo room, it would. One of two things would happen. It would either cause a depressurization event, which I agree you shouldn't do because you're. Talk about melting two pr uh, pressurized rooms, or more likely, it would disable the uh, regulator. Because the regulator would now be uh, the the chamber that the regulator is in would now be compromised. Yeah, the regulator would just stop working. It's a good idea. Why am I gonna do this? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. This is absolutely not worth the effort. Material accepted. Credits transferred. are heavier than I look. These lights wasn't so fiddly yet. We have to find a tether of them all together. I was thinking, I say, I wonder if there's a pressurized air chamber there. And I didn't have the, I had the thought at the moment that I was starting to cut that. Yep, there was a second. Yeah, the front one. Just as I was cutting, I'm like, is there a pressure, pressurized area on the other side of that? The, uh, the signal didn't settle in my brain fast enough for me to stop that cut. Got to go back and depressurize everything. Deposit accepted. Well, it was the outer chamber was got to depressurize. I <clears throat> we had gone back in because we had taken the door handle off the back, and the door had closed. So we had gone into the front. Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. Oh look, there's a missing texture there. I'm seeing right through it. We had we had uh, gone through the front to the back and depressurized to that, but it hadn't depressurized the chamber. One minute left on the outer hull chamber to the One front. Minute. Forgot all about it. Yeah, 
Yeah, it worked, right? That one's missing a bit too. Project yeah, before the applying credits to account. If the end, I probably should look for. Them. And then it's gonna get swept. You know, from the depressurization event. I think we're good. Way too heavy. And um, especially since I'm grabbing the wall. Yeah, yeah, a lot of them are missing the texture. It's like they never expected the, uh, the ship to break apart that way. <laughs> we had no red, though, so the, the two depressurization events, that's what I was theorizing, right, was that when we depressurized the back by separating the ring, even though it exploded, we lost no material. Well... Nothing was registered and destroyed, of course we know some of it can show up as gray. All the team at Lynx would like to wish you a happy and Like when I did the accidental cut across the titanium, that's gonna show up in the gray. But it's still a little bit of a loss. Material deposited. Account credit applied. Processing valuable deposit. Credits transferred. Yeah, that that shard right there was only 50 kilograms, even though it was physically appeared a lot larger. Yes, look at this. That's what's happening. You see that whole thing? It's only 22 kilograms. There's no way that whole that whole thing is only 22 til kilograms. So I think it's only counting the sliver. That's weird. The the mass looks like it's lining up with what we're seeing, and like the outline is not actually being counted. It looks like to me. Like that wasn't on the scanner, but it looked like there was something there. Material accepted. Credits assigned. Oh, the, the little pieces I had sent somehow did not make it into the furnace. Anyway, to grab this anyway. Object accepted for processing. Long shot all the way across the yard. Good grief. Raw material deposited. Transferring credits. It's hard to grab. There we go. Oh, that would have fly out too far. This entire shift cleaning up from last shift. One more shard. <laughs> yeah, you're talking about the challenge of cleaning up because of the missing textures. 
We looked right over there several times and didn't see that one. Processor deposit accepted. Credit Invisible. Alright. With you. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Old oh, cage with you. Just the lights. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Salvage goal obtained. Additional rewards assigned. All right, we get all of that. Their separate ways. Joys of manipulating this around now that's all separated. It's all in the it's all facing the wrong way. Probably should take care of this. Oops, wrong button. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. Freaking cut. Woo! Barely got there in time. door we haven't opened be to the other sidecar yeah we still gotta deal with that sidecar accepted credit applied valuable object process credit deposited I was making sure I missed the, the floating piece. I didn't want to attach it to it. Another shard. Shard. Well, Am I enough to move? Uh, there's no electronics on the first two. Beds. We took everything off the floor. Won't be another thing. It's stuck. Uh, sneaky little guy hiding there in a corner. Those are two separate pieces. Yep. 
they were. Salvage deposit secured. Sometimes they the fool warning. me and I end up gathering one large, one long thing to, to itself. I'm not messing with that last bunk bed yet because I know it's got electronics Salvage on it. Salvage secured. Applying credit. missing there's not even there should be a irregular there broken or otherwise oh it's how did what happened here it came off the wall even though the, the room has not been depressurized all right well that means it's gonna break um Five minutes left in the shift, Cutter, okay? okay? Get out of the way. I'll close this door in my face. chair in here either. I guess the uh, the guy operating here had to stand all the time. Standing in space. Probably got real unpleasant in here when, when uh, they accelerated. Oops. Okay. Well, I guess that works. Really just wanted everyone off the wall. No, and so they tethered us up to the wall. Or nothing. Okay. It was clearly tethered. I mean, it was tethered to nothing, but it was tethered. And it was pulling back, which means it should have pulled itself off the wall, even if it was tethered to nothing. Processing object. Applying credit to account. It's crazy how much having, you know, the ship go hockeyed on you messes account with things. Applied. Much more difficult it becomes. The usual lines of sight are, are askew. scraped it, it could have damaged it. Everything out of this room, still gotta get the power generator up top.
time's gonna shift. I wanna get this airlock stuff out of the way. Would you? you move. I wanna get this airlock section done so I can pull this front away. sure we got all the door handles. Account credited. It's a long time. Salvage secured. Applying credit. There we go. <laughs> I don't know, I just have to clean up. We shouldn't need the entire shift for this. We just gotta basically pull the bottom out of that last room. Pull the electronics out of it. Good morning, Cutter 9346-52. Hey there, Charmer. How you doing today? Good seeing you. Material Pay no attention to the wildly askew uh, vessel. Nothing to see here. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Leave some behind on that one. A little quick on that cut. Not a good shot there either. I was already thinking about grabbing these things and one painted into my, my aim. This ship, and we have we still want to do a um, salvage deposit confirmed. Applying salvage credit. runner. This run, well, it's probably a uh, Atlas Scout. My request. We have not been doing them. Probably should give them a little bit more time. Yeah. 
depressurized. Making sure it's depressurized. No! Uh, when was the last time I actually did that? I swear that the red line wasn't on it. That looked like a clean cut to me. I only reacted when I saw the saw it break. That wasn't. Usually, I know I made a mistake and I react as soon as I press the button. That looked like a clean cut to me. I kind of got caught on that one. Credit applied. Valuable object accepted for processing. Maybe we were on track for a 99% or that might have deposited. Might have cost us. Salvage Hopefully the scra scrap value can, can make up the difference. Even said, don't do that. Well, in time, it's appropriate for her to say it. Where is the bottom of this? Raw material process. Credits deposited. That's the bottom. Final salvage goal reached. All rewards allocated. With the ship being so out of order, we can we don't need to split these. I think we can get away with this first. Salvage deposit. Just doing this. Just flip the whole thing around. Oh, it's already split. <laughs> Anzo. That away. Okay, lights. Not. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Salvage registered. Transferring credits. You orient this. I should push it forward a little bit though to get it over the valuable object process over the barge so far forward salvage deposit confirmed applying credit That was dangerous. 
Cheers. Alright, fell down. Deposit accepted. Object processed. Transferring credits. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. Salvage secured. Applying credit. Considering that there's like, what, five computer Salvage terminals registered. in this room? Transferring credit. Right next to a ladder? Weird room, you know what I mean? Like, I can't imagine anyone would stand or sit in this room and work. Applying credit to account. I mean, I, I get that space is a premium in space. But this is incredibly compact. Objects inside it. Nope. Here, we'll grab a light. Or two. I don't think they'll exactly uh, compensate for our, our lost airlock, but you know. Every bit counts. Hello there. Salvage deposit. Five minutes left, Cutter. You know what you're doing? Okay. Okay. Good. Thank you for your A little bit of gray, but we did get some cutting in there. And plenty of things blowing apart, so... Doesn't really surprise me. I don't see more shards floating around. I think we're going to take our mini-me and go home. Ninety-eight point eight. Yeah, we were so on course to get our ninety-nine on this one. Hello, ship breaker. This is your morning wake-up call. Yeah, that was a. Uh uncooperative ship, wasn't it? But we learned a lot from it. We got to we got to do a lot of experimenting. We you know it did verify you know, I had that suspicion that if we separated that closed ring that it might depressurize. And it did. Plus we got to get some uh, experiment experimentation done with uh, opening up the bottom of the interior, interior, so we got more familiarity with working around it. So that was good. The productive ship. All right, Gavin. Well, uh, have a great night. Glad you could make it. We're just about to do that Atlas Scout that you were wanting to see. So you'll catch that in the uh, you'll catch that in the VOD. The uh, probably probably be streaming next week. Really starting to look for something else to stream, you know, every now and then. So, who knows what it'll be? 
Those are the two things we want to get for the, for, for the rest of tonight. Uh, I think we're going to do the scout. Just to, we just did a big ship. I mean, a salvage runner I consider to be a medium ship, but we'll, we'll finish the night with the salvage runner. It's taking a little longer than I'd expect for my, to load for a, a, a scout. Full of junk. <laughs> Plenty of stuff on the outside, that's for sure. Salvage secured. Applying credit. antenna first before grabbing the sensor array and bouncing it along the way. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. I like the paint job on this. Airlock depressurizing. Black Castle. We don't see many of these ships. These are pretty rare. Woo! That's a little fast there. I don't think we can grab these straight off the wall, can we? Nope, I didn't think so. Tether supplies are dropping. Reason being that I like to uh, pull the lights as I'm flying back out. If it's already split open, a lot of times I can fire straight down through to the barge. I need the, the bottom engine to be split open first. things. Gotta think ahead. I was gonna say, we haven't got set on fire yet this run. Last ring of fire I had to get through. Credits transferred. 
others left. Let's go ahead and use them up. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Caution. No tethers remaining. I wanted to tether both of the bottom ones, but I don't trust to walk away from them. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Thank you for your tethers You know, they both make a, a beeline straight for the furnace while I'm at the uh, Master Jack. That's what they do. Valuable object process. Credit deposited. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. I'm gonna wait to get the ring wings out of this one. I think we're just gonna bump them back. I wanna get the fuel out and free up the back. Mm. I'm giving me the kind of leeway I was wanting. I don't want to push them too far back. Need them get them, need to get them out so I can move that. <clears throat> and now I'll free up the back plate. Be removed. Object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. Salvage goal met. Rewards will be paid. There we go. I saw the gray tones of that and thought it was one of our missing posters. I was excited. Like, yes! Oh, well. I love this little table here. Navigation table. Just a great asset. So cool to be in a spaceship and looking down at one of these with the radar thing mapping everything out. Working regulator, refuel, working regulator. Oh, downstairs. Broken regulator, that, the one place I could have gone out and came back in. Through the airlock is the one that's broken. All right. Stairs. Leave that door open. Nah. What was it? Two broken regulars in the same room. Feels like there's more stuff to mess up in the uh, middle, so let's use the middle. 
regulator. I'm glad those uh, fuel thrusters don't come off the walls. I think it could flying out and just blow everything up. Where's the door? There it is. <laughs> oh, I forgot to get the regulars out of that room. Don't break, don't break. All right, so we turned in the bottom one, so we should be able to cut this floor out. Uh, after we open up the outside. <laughs> that out while we're holding on with one hand and cutting with the other. Break free, please. Thank you. Anything on the bottom of the ship was there? No, there wasn't. I wonder why we don't see Black Castle very often. I wonder if the... You know, I haven't really paid attention, but we don't... I don't remember seeing them on any of the big ships. I wonder if they're exclusive to... Like... The, the scout atlases. Like maybe it's a small company and therefore they don't own any big ships. Because I'm always, I'm always surprised when I see their paint job because we see it so rarely. I like it a lot. But it sticks out to me every time we do see it. Repair kits I always pick up immediately. Suit patch kit. Yeah. Just in case somehow we get injured, hang on to it. Although we've only used one once ever. Still, that one time we left it behind. <clears throat> and it was there for our use. Back up so I can actually see where it went. I imagine wearing these spacesuits is like Batman. <clears throat> you know, you can't really can't turn your head and look around you. No, there was something up. Ah, uh, sucked right in. I saw that searchlight when I was spinning around.
I even took time to look at the bottom of the flat of the bottom panel when it when I cut it free. Somehow missed that on the bottom of the front. Get it? I think I got credit for that. I mean, the searchlight wasn't worth much, but... I mean, we were cutting out doors. Because, you know, each little percent... Each little piece is a higher percent in these small ships. We were on track for such a great, a great high percentage on it. Cutter 9346-52, your designated sleep period is now over. Have a great day. <laughs> the split saw was still cutting when we came out. Looks like we got it though. Raw material oh, deposit pressurized. I really like their AC on that ship. <laughs> Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. door or the, the the little door frame to come out on its own separate from the rest of the wall it does on basically every other ship This freed up. Ew. Need to, you know, do something about the reactor that's on it before we send it into the processor. I don't like the way that guy's behaving. All right. That's not the cut point. That's the cut point. Make that right past it. Look at that. Oh, that was nice. 
spun it right around it. Processing valuable deposit. Credits transferred. Now, if it could be bothered to get in there, I can send the other engine piece in. Just that. That's the black mark on the wall. Processing object. Applying credits to account. Oh, no, you don't. No, 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 you don't. No, 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 no. Oh, your game. I have time to mess with this because the other one's on his way. Yeah, look at that. Definitely trying to go in. Hurry him right past it. All right, that should be safe. He thinks I tethered the entire ship. Did not tether the ship. One tether that guy got. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. Object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. Salvage deposit. That was a little bit dangerous because that was that was quite a ways for the reactor to go. Got away with it. Salvage registered. Transferring credit. That is the bottom Project of the ship done. So we can straighten it out a little bit when we spin it. We'll just go off center on this tether. Come on, turn it, turn it, turn it. Don't, you shouldn't be rotating around that axis. It might be straightening out a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty good. More fuel. I'm gonna grab that one. All right, stop moving, please. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. Well, that's a good stuff in that cockpit. Easy money. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. That was a bad throw. Salvage secured. Applying credit. More cuts, more cuts. And air filter. Valuable object process. Credit deposited.
all the doors out now, I need to relocate the uh, power cell that I kept avoiding. I think I'm just going to cut this to your side. Carbon. That shouldn't be a thing. Alright, let's flip this over and get it deposit confirmed. done. Applying credit. Five minutes. Carousel. Salvage registered. Transferring credits. Salvage goal reached. Rewards assigned. Hmm. That was not a loose object. I, was, I thought I was grabbing onto that soft crate. Having fun. A lot of stuff in here to salvage. It's really been a packed ship. My castle got the most out of their little their little ship here. Tried to trick me into thinking that was four individual computers, but it wasn't. I saw through the ruse. That's a good one. Oh, I didn't even mean to grab that. I thought it was a full one when I did. That's probably even full right there. That is everything. A nice clean ship after the javelin gave us a hard time. Our final walkthrough on it, make sure that we didn't miss anything. Door handles. is empty. Downstairs is now the upstairs. Right. And a little more quickly find our oh yeah I'll get this stuff too. Accepted. Lean, mean, eating machine. Our sticker for the food. I suspect that we have thrusters on the back wall because that's a lot of gray 
for the uh, just for those. No, we don't have to rest on the back wall. I don't remember turning them in. I really don't remember turning them in. Must have done it as I was flying by at one point. Yeah, that was all gray. Alright. Watching the clock. 99.3%. Very nice. One more ship. We're calling it. Gecko salvage runner. See if we can find ourselves another poster. And uh, test out like our new new order of splitting open the hull. Because last time it went a lot more quickly and a lot more smoothly. No salvage runner. Gonna cancel out. Then go back in and get ourselves another another uh, set of ships. I imagine this is like our cutter taking the day off. Takes day off, comes back and see what what's what's new the next day. Shift time will be commencing shortly. Come on, come on. There's level nine. All right, that's what we're looking for. I do want to look real quick to see if there's. We were talking about Black Castle. That's interlink system. I just want to see if if there are anything other than the, the Atlas Scout. They even have a cool symbol too. Yeah, I, I think that they're just kind of a, a minor company. The Aquarius. That's I think that's a, a minor one as well. Like we see plenty of Ferro Rojo, obviously Lynx, and. Ever we see plenty of those. All right. Unusual for us to actually be targeting a salvage runner. How far we have come. Bomb this time. Searchlight in the last ship. We still got over 99%, so. Wasn't that impactful. I don't, know, I don't think it's worth tethering these two together because then we'd have to drag one of them all the way across the ship. It's running a little jagged. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. See how choppy that is? Airlock depressurizing. Confirmed. 
Applying credit. So what I was talking about, we did differently on the last run was that we took this back segment right here off a lot earlier than we normally do and it made dealing with this so much easier so much easier Really surprised that we salvaged ladders as a barge item. Seems like a thing that. Oh, audio. Uh, okay. Um, this is. Uh, this is the gecko. No, uh, that's not right. Come on, Harry, focus. Focus. This is the gecko. The latest innovation from Hudson Industries Engineering Department. It, uh, where was I? Yeah, okay, okay. This is the Gecko, the latest innovation from Hudson Industries Engineering Department. It comes in at an average of 72 meters in length with the 400 and 800 configurations offering additional space. The Gecko can supply, no, no, support, okay. The Gecko can support up to crew for a duration of nearly 700 days without resupply. We envision the Gecko will find a niche in both shipping and research approaches. We have been developing the Gecko in the previously approved joint venture project with Aquarius, which has ensured that this new model will, uh, will, uh, yeah. And you know, I think I can make this work. Advertising for the gecko. That's an odd recording to find on the on the ship. Like, was this one of the original geckos? And free floating through here. No new posters. Not that I've spotted. All right, so we're going to break our way out the back. It looks like. Why is there even a door here? I don't think I've ever really questioned that. This door doesn't separate anything. You can see, the door does nothing. Air pressure level decreasing. All right. Uh. Can't go to the floor. We can, but we have to go through the ceiling to get to the floor. Breeze through. There we go. Alright, so we are in pressurized, or depressurized, and the front is pressurized. As long as there isn't some kind of weird leak, which we've seen in the past. This should not cause event. Excellent. And even though we took the door handle off of the airlock, it should be open now. It is not open. Let's go to the bottom. Let's 
squeezing our way through here. Let's uh, get one of these side panels open. I'm a little leery about cutting anything too much because we can cause a depressurization event. No, that's not. Let's not mess with it. If it loosens, if something accidentally loosens the front part of the ship, then we know that it'll propagate its way through the, the cockpit seal. We'll make sure that's still pulled tight. Ooh, frame rates. All right, made your point. We don't want to have to come back into this room. One computer, so that. I'm going to worry about the big, big one in the middle. I'm always leery about moving it within the, you know, just freeing it up and letting it sit there because it's wall to wall. We've seen problems with objects that have no room to move. I, uh, I expected when I hit that door for it to close both of them for some reason. That's alright. Oh, we missed a regular. Alright, it's all good. That should be the entire ship depressurized. Nice. Now we can go go through and start cutting it all up. Let me third. Hey Cutter, five minutes left in this shift. All right. any aluminum I have to worry about cutting. Hot panels out of the way. That gives us a lot of room to breathe.
Valyria being this close to the blunt pipe I'm cutting. I also don't want to cut across and hit that aluminum unnecessarily. Didn't want it to drift away on us. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. Okay, nothing. Didn't like it was like it wasn't blue first, then it was. Yeah, no aluminum panels, good. Makes this a lot easier. Big traffic jam though, let's wait for those to go. We don't want them to cancel himself again. yet, I'm going to pre-tether him anyway. Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. Not much time left. That was blue, like that, that looks like it should be moving. I wasn't expecting to see blue when I grabbed onto it. I get crushed getting in too close and doing that. I don't know anything's on the floor of this, but right here, I might as well cut it. a nice clean first shift for a, a salvage runner yeah a lot of the hall opened up we managed to pull that air filter out at the last second which is giving us access to the interior it was a real good shift normally the prep takes longer you know, I mean, we, we didn't get all the cuts that we normally do. But we got quality cuts where we were able to actually take out segments. Hello, ship breaker 9346-52. Links would like to share... I think that's really needs to be the strategy for the, the salvage runner because there's so the many tight spaces effort, in it. Into flames of profitability. That getting those segments out early gives us a lot of quick access to the rest of the ship. Hey, 
a waste of tether on that guy. Valuable object processed. Credits awarded. Going to be free? Oh, you are. Salvage they are being generous. Transferring credits. Okay, still a lot of junk on these walls. I might have to remove some of it to get that, that T section out. Rotate it, we might be all right. Ship's going so well, let's grab some doors. started to shake like crazy and I was look at that that's I was in that tiny space when it was starting to do that and that's dangerous the whole thing is shaking itself apart which is going to work in our favor because it's actually pulling away that's the one problem that we always have is getting that front piece off and if we could do that on purpose Every time, that's, that's, that's what, that would be my strategy from now on. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Come around. Salvage secured. Applying credit. Leave the whole thing as one piece. Why not? Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Your tether's left. I think we can just go ahead and burn all three of them here. There we go. Caution. Tether supply depleted. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Have a nice day.
out of the way so we can shoot those in. Very soft crate, I don't know where that came from. Salvage secured. Please get a move credit. on. Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. I have to push these around it. Oh, I was actually trying to get that in there, but that ricocheted off nicely. I need a little bit of adjustment. Super nice because a lot of times with these we have, especially on the top, a lot of aluminum panels. Oh no, we lost the light. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to I think it was on that, yeah, it was that big side piece. Yes. I had a bunch of pieces that went in all at the same time, so. Processing object. I've been any one of them. Applying credits to account. Salvage goal cleared. Rewards elevated. Alright, see if this one behaves better. Our last salvage runner, we couldn't get this. How could it come off for nothing? Here, we might as well go ahead and free up this. That's good. Credit applied. I guess it's quick interior access in case the cockpit doesn't come off. Yeah, that's going to be holding on to the cockpit. That acted. And free this guy up. There we go. There goes the cockpit. Valuable object accepted for processing. Well, I should have grabbed this before I did that. Careful. Oh, 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 not at me. Getting a radiation housing all the way over here. Salvage registered. Transferring credits. I feel like that should have gone somewhere. Actually, I don't want to tether that yet. Like one of the dogs from from up. Squirrel. Run over there real quick. Cancel. Processing valuable deposit. Credits transferred. Was almost too low on that cut. Five minutes left, cutter, okay? Look, the shift just started. Stabilize it a little bit so it doesn't fling everything everywhere. Look at that. Oh, look at that. How beautiful that is. Nice, tight cluster of stuff. All bargeable stuff. Oh, pew pew. Registered. Account 
Account credited. That would have missed the barge. Excuse Salvage me. Deposit accepted. Credit transferred. Please don't hit it. Woo! Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Look at those two. Salvage yep, very cool. nice. Rewards allocated. Salvage secured. Credit deposit. Very nice. Deposit accepted. Credits transferred. We missed the objects. Then we are down here, though. The light. The light. Where did you get over there? Where are you from? Salvage secured. Applying credit. Hey there, liquid. Good to see ya. Yeah, it was a good Q -Q. That was one of the one of the best item clusters I've ever had, I think. Of course, part of it is because we had a lot of I, I stacked a bunch of uh of uh, regulators from all the other rooms in there because I didn't want them all to come off the walls. We had a lot of stuff packed in there. Valuable object processed. Credits awarded. Right. Up here. Not. I'm gonna ignore that stuff and try to get to these panels over here. What we ended up doing last time, I think, more more or less by chance. Getting these out of the way. A major boon. We have the furnace. down there because we can probably tub this guy from the outside. Valuable object accepted for processing. Go on. Go on. You watching the clock, Cutter? You've got one minute. I knew that tether was gonna fire. Oh, whoa, 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 no no no. No no no. No 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 no. Don't, don't do it. Woo. Furnace denied. And watch that, watch the other one suck it in. <laughs> I would have been so annoyed. So annoyed. Some lights. Your point two percent though. Pretty good. Yeah, there's a, you know, when <clears throat> when something's on its way, like, into the furnace like that, it's really a judgment call on 
you know, I had a hold of it and I'm trying to reel it back. This is your daily and you gotta, call. you gotta get that, you have to make that judgment call at some point to where you're, you're reeling, your reeling of the object is not pulling it fast enough, not decelerating it fast enough. You have to give up on the object to switch to tethering because, oops, you know, that moment you let go of it to take time to tether it, it's no longer slowing down and starting to speed up into the furnace. So it's like, do you stick with pulling on it? When do you when do you give up on pulling on it and and try to tether fast enough? I have a mental debate that goes on. When do you acknowledge that you're not going to stop it? With your your pro with your uh, your grappler alone. Because if you're too slow on the tether, then by letting go of it, you could end up feeding it where you could have stopped it just by pulling on it. Alright, uh, I think I want to get... Let's see if I can get this whole thing out. If I do that, then these gets... No, no, we can leave that one. Okay. Normally we cut this off up there. I think we can carefully boop this out. The center. Boop. Get out of the way. Oh, nice and clean. Look at that. Clear that edge. Go. Boop. Perfect. Swinging around too much. Very nice. Now see, now we have nice, clean access to the, uh, the loading bays. So much easier than, rather than being crushed all the time trying to get through there. Makes it much easier to deal with these. Question is, are these bays going to cooperate with only taking out... Yep, that one did. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright. I need to flip around and scoop us up and take us in. Boop is a, a, a industry industry term. Processing valuable object. Credits awarded. Advanced maneuver. Now the bottom, I think the bottom is connected to this. Not sure. Oh, there's some weird connection points that don't make sense in some of these. That part should be on its own though. Oh, 
are you hanging on to? This guy's free again. In front of him should have been free. Oh, there's the cut point. We missed one. Processing valuable deposit. Credits transferred. We're cutting this. We're cutting it because I wanted to keep the back attached. I need this little little back piece of the spine still. Cut it right here. Object accepted for processing. Credit deposit. And a little left tap. Just a little. Boop. around grab it keep it from going crazy there we go Good. Die out of the way. Bling it. Salvage registered. Transferring credits. This will give us access to the salvage bay so we can Processor deposit accepted. possibly get away with not having to cut that flooring out. Spin around, don't stay red. Break the tether. Oh, oh. Wait, yeah, that's exactly the 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 geckos that's what they are to me. They're they're sci-fi onions. I like the way they come apart. That's why they're my favorite ships. These are going to the furnace, or processor, oh, that's attached, and somehow powered. Okay, so that just disappeared. Okay, we got credit for it. Account credit applied. Valuable object process. Credits awarded. That dry fire was for that food packet that just disappeared on us. I know it was in here somewhere, so hopefully it went in. Wow, that disappeared too. Something's going crazy with the it drawing the uh, LOD. The one that goes nowhere. I want to send it in there. You over just a little bit. Salvage deposit registered. Come on. Get in there. Oh, nice. So that salvage bay is done. Very nice. Enough of it was towards the back that we got away with just using the hole that we cut for that housing. This for here. Uh, 
Uh, let's go ahead and cut that floor out because we always know that we have to because of the uh, junction. The... Five minutes left to get your work done. Okay, Cutter? Oh, it's a cable junction, but that's not what it's called. Warning. Fuel levels are critical. Return to the master jack to purchase supplies. The thing that has the things attached to it. Anything on these. I haven't looked through the other bay yet to see if there maybe there's a free fuel. This thing, rail guide, that's the thing. This one. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit I see the money. Everything we can off these walls make it easier to. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. Pull this T section out. Burn. That was not a good shot. Did me or did the ship get turned? The whole ship got turned. What happened? Well, it must be one of those physics bumps. It's gonna make the rest of the salvaging a little bit annoying. Yep, see, it's already in the way. All right, let's look for fuel before we go purchase in it. None there, none there. I don't know if we only have a Salvage minute 40. I think our fuel can hold out. Don't move very much. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. I don't fancy going all the way back over there for fuel just to fly right back and then it, the shift in. We don't need to remove that. I think we got all of that. Nice. Oh, we 
Get the forklift. Got it. I'm not gonna grab those consoles. Uh, so yeah, like with the uh, the hoist, not right. They they've merged two of the two of the cut points. So now it's just one cut point on each side. I think what else they merged? It was um oh the uh, the fuel on the uh, javelin tankers. Remember how they used to be three individual connections, and now it's two connections that is one long bar. I think of it as kind of the same way. Hello, ship breaker 9346-52. It does make it li a little like less to tedious the cutting them out now. Message. Some people dream of great salvage, while other people get up every morning and make it happen. There was plenty of time on the fuel. This ship is skewed. Drives me nuts. A monkey with our clearing the backside too. You're gonna start doing right now. I think I might just go ahead and split these because clearance is going to be weird now. Okay, so uh, last time, remember, we found we had credit for a third rudder. Yeah, clearly only two rudders on here. I'm going to try to get away with... Can we pull direct? I mean, now that the furnace is a little less crabby at range, this might actually be viable. I mean, we still need to babysit it, but... Or that would have been a guaranteed furnace item. Now away from the furnace. It worked! Nice! I'm happy with that. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Did that actually land on it? It did. Of course, the last piece, the middle one's going to be a different story. Credits awarded. But we'll, uh, Rewards allocated. we'll definitely take this. Very good. 
that's gonna make it a lot easier to get these out. I'm going to the right place. You are very good. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Tap there. And this is probably light enough for us to move on our own. Yep. Count credited. That's what we're gonna do. Flip it a little bit upwards. Object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. Get away from all of that. Turn, turn, turn. Turn it out a little bit. So it's got that wonkiness to it. Right, so now we need to cut the room off. Yep. <laughs> Making sure he's going where he's supposed to. I always like cutting this room off, but I'm not sure why. This is something satisfying about it. This feels kind of surgical. All right, let's take this room. Processing valuable deposit. Credits transferred. Salvage goal obtained. Additional rewards assigned. Well, at least the uh, the tilt is going to make the reactor a little bit easier to deal with. Show there. Salvage secured. Applying credit. I was playing with fire a little bit. They're not not doing a, a big push on it. Uh, I don't know if there's a is there a door handle near a side of this. I'm gonna. Send it. I can't let go of it. I want to see the other side of it, so we'll dip it. Nope. All right. If there was a door handle on the other side, it would have gotten stuck on the barge. Material deposited. Let's go ahead and cut this floor out. Transferring credits. Shooting things through doorways. In fact, while we're down here, we should take the crew quarters apart too. Also, do the computer room. 
I think I'm gonna look at it before I cut it. Uh, that might have been a little close. I won't be surprised if that floor piece won't come out once we get the... I mean, right now it shouldn't come out anyway. But, uh... I cut that corner a little close. That might not treat it as cut. We have these floor panels. Nice electronics on him. Get that out of the way. No electronics, all right. That one's gonna come free, I'm not sure about this one. Alright. A little more than I wanted on that. A little too much English. moving while we're pulling electronics off, especially the power cells. Got away with it though. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Apparently a quick and easy way to start a fire. Especially around all these mattresses. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. Yeah, I'll wave it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Those bunk beds love to come off with a fury. Okay, all right. Here room, ECU room, that's about it. ECU shut down. Thank you. 
One minute left, Cutter. Start finishing things up. All right? I think we're just gonna cut this pipe. Normally we have a, you know, normally we have a hole into that room because of there being a uh, a uh, radiation housing. First, I take the ECU out. Valuable object accepted for processing. You know, since the ship is sideways, I want to, I think, pull this up this direction, even though we normally go the other way with it. But we'll do that next shift. I think we can knock it out, the rest of the ship in this shift. Zero point three percent not bad. Good morning, Cutter. It's time to begin your work day. Eight tethers. Yeah, we'll have to come back. And I think we do want to cut this floor out. here. Like cutting the back wall out. If this gets... When we get this out of the way... Oh, that corner might not count. Well, you know, once we get this out of the way of the ECU, it's pretty easy to get up above it and shoot down to cut the pipe. This one should be stuck. It is. All right. Raw material processed. Credits deposited. Ah. Got the door handle in here. Yeah. Couple of lights. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Salvage goal met. Rewards will be paid. Right, that room is done. Now I gotta carefully, not so carefully, free up all these guys. Don't come off violently. All we ask. Tether supplies dropping. There we go. That way for me so I can get a good angle on it. Raw material accepted. No, 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 break your tether. Okay, it's already dead. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. Salvage secured. Credit deposited.
Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. Salvage registered. Transfer. Very credit. valuable room. I think that might be all of it. Where'd that chip bag go? Chip bag. I know it's only a chip bag, but I floated it for a reason. That red. Something just... Oh, that was the... That was the tether is breaking. <laughs> is there a chip bag? There it is. What do I want to walk about? Operate. I don't know if there's any more doors left at all. <laughs> or door handles for that matter. So I get the pipe off, that's what we got left. Yeah, I think we're just gonna try to grab let's grab here and go up. Cancel that tether once we get it away from the ship. Last couple times, it's worked that they've not been stuck. Looks like it's working again. Remember, in early access, this would, this pipe would get stuck on these edges, and you'd have to cut it in multiple places. Kind of guess at where it was colliding. It's looking like they may have fixed that. Recent recent testing has shown that it's been clear. Deposited. Transferring credits. Alright, so for any door handles. Right, down the other side of this. Make sure you face away from me no matter where I go, thank you. We're going to start cutting this thing apart. Alright. Cancel so the tether on the pipe. We're pre-tethering this. Caution. No tethers. Alright. Please refill supplies. That was not the ideal time to run out. <laughs> Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Have a nice day. Alright. 
Got a med kit after huffing uh, old old oxygen. I don't like cutting through where the generator used to be. None of these other places look great, especially because we ran into that. I'm going to try to get a little cheeky and melt our thing in half. This never really goes planned. I'm looking at is that I think it's a mattress. <laughs> Mattress pretending to be wall. Salvage destroyed. Please revisit your training. Or maybe it's actual wall. Oh, it is wall. Okay. I said it. I don't expect this to work. I forget to get those horizontal beams too. Those are probably expiring at this point. They're still there. Cutter? Got about five minutes left till you're done for the day. Missing any Yes we are. Hey, it's working! <laughs> Chip's actually coming apart. Nice. Looks like it might come apart in more segments than I wanted to. That's all right. That makes this side lighter. Account credit applied. Pipe did not go in. Just caught a glimpse of it out of the corner of my eye. Used up most of our free time. Goofing around time. Yeah, a lot of times when you have those walls meeting the division points, they treat themselves as connected even though they're not. Really broke another tether. Um, probably cutting saves more aluminum. We're melting entire bars. Plus, we went where there was a wall. You know, normally we could find a, th a thin point um, where we've already cut out a lot of floors, and so it's easy to cut, you know, just what's left. But that time, it was pretty thick all the way through. Material accepted. Credits assigned. Um, so that's why I went ahead and tried something different. But I would say we, we probably lose more material doing it the way I did it, but it's cleaner the way I did it. Come on. 
your mats. Oh, fuel pipe. No! No, no, no! Oh, I can't even get it because it's so thin. Valuable component incinerated. Don't do that. Took my eyes off it for one moment. I even counter-tethered it around the other way and it still came back and got in there. Alright, Cutter. Time to wrap it up, okay? One minute left. I even tethered the back part around over there and it still managed to flip. Material accepted. Credits yeah, at least we got our mini me. There went our 99% something though. We were we were hot on this one. It was a it was a good run. Oh man, yeah, that was a, a, a last moment, a little backstabbing there. We got we got a mini me with an asterisk because it's under ninety eight percent. I saw that I saw that little piece of red come up and say fuel pipe, and I knew we were in trouble. I just spun around real quick and ran over there to see if we could catch any of it, but the whole thing had flipped. That was the the fuel pipe was the the end where the thrusters were attached. That was before you know that it dipped its toe in. That's before the the uh, the housing even it got into there. And I was like, oh, because I had to catch I had to catch the fuel pipe with tethers. And you know how hard it is, to, especially since they're the at long range they don't all draw out properly and just landing a, a landing tethers on it from that range i knew there was no way we we're gonna catch any of it oh well we still got we still got our mini me technically it's all it counts mini me with an asterisk it's all good other than that, the, it was a it was a really good salvage. The uh, the salvage runners are feeling a lot better. You know, a combination of we're getting a, a more clear strategy for opening them up more quickly, getting out of that claustrophobic crunch that that the top inner part is, and it seems like they have dramatically reduced the amount of junk in the the bays. So it's less of the tedium of pulling, you know, just a ton of parts out. And the bays, at least in the past couple of runs, the bays have come off reliably. We haven't had to cut the sides. In the past, we've had to cut the sides randomly. Sometimes you had to, sometimes you didn't. And the past two times that we've done them, they've been reliable. So that has made it uh, nicer. So, uh, yeah, they've, they've clearly put a lot of work into getting those to be less bad. Now if only they could come up with a better way of doing the exo labs. Um, without having to, to collect up 18,000 little cables. But that's it. Uh, oh, it looks like our, on our, our balance we get an extra digit. What's that? A billion? We now, we now have a billion dollars or a billionaire. Nice. I'm pretty sure that by now we would have actually paid off our actual debt. No, oh, maybe not. Because right, we should be a our our starting debt's what 1.2 billion.
Remember, but of course, you know, we had a lot of it added to... A lot of it was given to us for free, so I don't know that we'll ever know. That's okay. Uh, you know, again, if at some point in the future, I wouldn't mind doing another run-through of it where we just don't do the industrial action and uh, until we actually, are, you know, pay off our debt. But that's going to be it for tonight. Uh, good run. Um, probably won't be doing hard space next week. Uh, may or may not be doing anything next week. Might take next Saturday off. But I, I think that at the very least, uh, we'll probably not do hard space for a week. We've done it like three times in a row. Uh, so I do want to do something different for the next stream. But we'll just see how things work out. You know, I'm, I'm still batting around some of the ideas uh, for things that can be can be done as a one a one off stream. You know, a game that can be played through in, in a single session. Um, I've been I've been I've been playing. Um, well, you know, I mean, yeah. So right, we still have two more posters left to get. That we know about the lady poster and the the non the the union poster that isn't that doesn't have the union on the one that has not been defaced. Now we have the union poster, but we don't have the post the clean poster. So those two still have to be found. Um, yeah, we're not done playing the game. We're just, we're just not gonna play. It. We're probably not gonna play it next Saturday, unless I can't come up with anything else to do. And even then, I just might take the Saturday off. Um, but again, I'm, I'm looking at some games that we can do in a single session. Uh, I've been strongly thinking about doing stack lands. Is whether or not we can keep a, a pace in it that is engaging. Because, you know, some, some single session games have a low point in the middle where you're kind of grinding out something. Um, and I, I would like to do another satisfactory live stream and... Uh, there's something that I think I could use for live streaming on it, but I'm not at that point in the game. Uh, I want to do... I'm, I'm very close to needing to do another complex for, uh, for power. And I'm strongly considering doing that on the far end of the map, which means... Uh, uh, yeah. Well, Frostpunk, I don't think I can do it in one sitting. Uh... I mean, it doesn't mean we couldn't do it over multiple settings, but I don't think we'd—I don't think we'd get the interest in it. Uh, others, uh, but satisfactory. I know we can get some people in on, and uh, I want to—I want to do a power a power plant, but I don't know that I want to do a power plant as a, as an episode, which makes it a good streaming opportunity. Uh, but we'll see. We'll 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 definitely see. Um, but we're going to call it for now. Uh, I'll try to post as early as I can when I know what we're going to do next week if we're doing anything at all. I've been bad about that lately because I've been I've been coming up to Friday not being sure what I'm going to do for the Saturday stream, which is why I haven't been posting them. Uh, well, that's part of what the, the, epi the, the, the stream would be doing in Satisfactory because... Uh, it, we would be probably doing fuel in the bottom on the south of the map, which means getting establishing a rail line all the way around the map. That takes time, and that's something that's fairly good for streaming. Um, I'd want to do some infrastructure first, though, so that we don't spend three hours just drawing platforms uh, to get there, because it would be a really, really long rail. In fact, it'd probably be a two. It'd be probably be a two-stream thing. Uh, but that's something that it, that's something that would lend itself well to to doing the stream as opposed to an episode because uh, we could do you know part of that session for for getting the fuel, and I could still do a regular episode on other projects, leaving the fuel as a thing that can come back to the next weekend. It's not, it doesn't have to be connected and, and done in one run uh, because power doesn't produce anything that we need other than just power. Uh, so it's not products that we need for, uh, uh, for something else. 
But we'll see. We'll see what we're going to do next week. Um, but we're going to call it. I'm really hungry. I want to go eat. <laughs> and we're already over our usual time anyway. Uh, thanks very much for coming out. Be sure to leave a like on the way out. Everyone who's present has probably already subscribed. Um, but I can't stress enough. Be sure to like because the algorithm likes them. And uh, that gets our, our visibility. Um, there probably won't be a satisfactory episode tomorrow. It's... I'm just not close enough to being done with the next one. I don't want to kill myself overnight working on it. Because um, it cuts, that cuts down on the quality if I'm, if I'm rushing. Um, but I will see you guys probably next Saturday, assuming that there's a stream. Uh, otherwise, you know, have a great weekend and have a great week. And uh, thanks again for coming out.